Hi folks, welcome to Rexport Education. I'm Ryan and Shanahan, and joining me once again for episode two of the Rumba series is my friend Ling. Good to have you join us today. Now, today we have several patterns for you that are a little more tricky. So we'll get right into it. Beginning from our basic pattern, you'll recall that we have a box step. And in our, in our first episode, we covered a shoulder to shoulder pattern that had us move outside the box. We're going to do the same with this first pattern we call the crossover breaks. Starting with your partner in closed position, offset, and left foot free leaders, right, free, right foot free ladies. Here we go. Slow, side, together, side to move outside the box. I'm going to swing my left hand down and through to open to the crossover break. Quick, quick, slow, together, side, Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. There you go. Now let's cover some technique. You really want to move with this step. With our basic slow, really progress to the side. Quick, quick, slow. Take your partner with you. Invite her to come across using your frame. Now, get, getting to the crossover break position, is going to involve manipulating your partner's right hand, your left. So leaders, to do this, I like to swing the hand out. Think going out and down. Often the mistake is coming straight through. This is going to surprise your partner. No, don't, don't surprise your partner, not in dancing. Right. We'll move towards you now. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, I swing the arm through. I open up this arm, and I want to create a nice line here. So I'm going to bring my arm up at least above my shoulder level. And ladies, you can uh, accent this a little more if you like. I think Ling likes to bring the arm straight up, so we'll, we'll show that. Now, my standing foot, my right foot, ladies left, you're going to pivot on that foot, turning that foot all the way around so it faces out. Once I've got that position, Pulling from my hip, I can step through. In fact, my opposite foot is going to track through where my standing foot was and move past it or through it, like an opening door. Now once I'm here, I'm going to get all the way onto that foot. I'm going to lift in my sternum and open up my arms and create a nice line through the body. You want to be in a good alignment with your partner. Let's see if we can find that together. Slow. Quick, quick, slow. Crossover break. Quick. Nice. Once we're finished from this position, I'm going to retreat back and face my partner. Slow. So that we have two steps of a rock step as we open break. And moving back to face your partner, we should still be in an offset position. And we can repeat this on the other side. I'm going to take the other hand and swing it through and pull again from my standing foot hip to track through with my opposite foot. Quick, quick, slow. Remember to turn that back foot out at a 90 degree angle. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. We finished off with our crossover break, so now we're ready to end this pattern with our spot turn. Now, a spot turn is both a pattern and a type of rotation, so I'm going to begin with just that underarm turn. To do this, we go from a crossover break, quick, quick, slow, and we'll do one crossover, quick, quick, slow, and leading for the underarm. So I lift her right hand, I'm going to do a back rock as she goes under, quick, quick, slow. Now I'll demonstrate your technique, ladies. Starting from the basic, we have slow. Quick, quick, slow. Moving to the crossover break. Quick, quick, slow. Partner raises the hand and we step under. Quick, quick, slow. As you step out to the underarm turn, take a small step here, leading with the toe, inside edge of the ball of the foot. I'm going to swivel on this foot making a half a turn. Step forward onto your right foot and then begin to face your partner on slow. 
It's nice to accent this movement with some staccato action. We do this by sharpening each of our points. As I step out, quick, step again, quick, and turn to face your partner, slow. The head can finish uh, first in this, but starts last, and this is called spotting. So as I begin to move towards my right, I'm facing my partner and quickly turning my head to the side. Now my head is going to remain here as my body does the rotation. And just before the body finishes, snap the head around and then the body finishes. Same thing as I step forward and turn to face the partner. Now you can add a little bit of Cuban action into this simply by leading from your ribs. So take, the, take those sides and I'm going to stick it forward. My hip is behind and as I step onto this foot and begin to turn, I'm going to settle with my left hip. Now my hip is back, but again, I'm leading from my rib cage forward. Settle with the hip. This frees up my back leg. Or step and turn towards your partner and then settle with the hip. Let's demonstrate this from both sides. Starting with one crossover break into the underarm turn, we have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. From here, you can go back to your basic box step by doing a ball change in place. Quick, quick, slow. From the other side, we have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now the fun thing about Latin dancing is that the leaders get to have as much fun as the ladies. So she just learned an underarm turn and we're going to do an underarm turn as well. Starting from our box, moving outside the box, we have the spot turns for both partners. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. Now I'll explain how this works. Leaders, you're doing the same turn that the ladies just learned. We'll start from our basic, moving outside the box. Slow, quick, quick, slow. I'm going to step through. This time, instead of swinging my arm through because I'm not trying to wind my partner up in anything, I'm bringing this arm through and down for the underarm turn. We're both going to do a turn, so I step through with her as if I was doing a crossover break. Now, we do a half a turn, facing away, and back towards each other to finish the rotation. We can do this on both sides, so I offer her my other hand and continue leading through, make a half a turn, face your partner on slow. Now we'll end this with a ball change and back to box. Once more from the other side. And slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Thanks everyone for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and check out the Patreon link here in the description. Also, please share this video and leave us a comment below if there are particular patterns you'd like to have instruction on or more, uh, more patterns or more dances you'd like to, to learn, please let us know. Anyway, we'll see you next time.